Hey, this is just me riffing, filled with the spirit, <laughs> if you know what I mean, some spirits. I appreciate all the new subscribers and, and watchers. Uh, I appreciate you because I can't do this alone can't do it I and the, the people that are smarter than I that I've learned from can't do it with the audience that they have most of the population is asleep um, mesmerized uh, mesmerized in assumption of the validity of presumptions brought upon them And when you believe something, let's parse the word believe. B-E-L-I-E, -E, lie. V-E, which I'm sure has a meaning in Latin. Sorry, I'm not one that prepares for my videos. <laughs> it's a language prison. A person is a corporation or a persona. Most of our language is Babylonian. You're underwater. You know, I've said all these things in, in recent videos, but let's talk about an election. Vote, which also can be connected to volt as in electricity. I did a video on this. Are we electrical biological units of currency? You are because you're birthed. You're born and then you're birthed. Anybody out there that thinks being birthed is the action of you coming out of your mama, you are sadly mistaken. You misunderstand what the hell is going on. And once again, I will say this, everything is contract and all contract is law which means everything is contractual law. And in law, ignorance is no excuse, period. You know, any Christian that has read the Bible that still acquiesces to statutes and, and I'm talking about parking tickets, you know, having a driver's license, Unless it, I mean, it's more convenient to have a driver's license, even if you're not a driver. It's silly, but it's gone so generational that, you know, it's more convenient than having to educate a police officer. Although, if we all were independently wealthy, that's what we would do. You saw my video earlier. If you're a police officer, the word police comes from policy. It's corporate policy. You adjudicate no law unless it's a murder or someone's property that's been destructed. Someone's liberty has been uh, violated, you know, kidnapping or due process. Someone committed a crime or didn't commit a crime and they were someone else became judge, jury, and executioner. <laughs> or kick the shit out of her. Whatever the hell they did. You violated their due process. Even if you saw them do it. Nothing's perfect. Nothing's perfect. Freedom isn't free. Nor is it safe. If you want to be a slave, then embrace socialism and communism and what's going on doesn't matter either side is embracing what the left is saying is so horrible they're saying it's the most the worst thing of it fascism you know what fascism is it's when the government can control media communication twitter banned trump 
Love him or hate him. I don't love him. I don't hate him either. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter if they were uh, uh, censoring Epstein, who's a, obviously probably a really bad guy. Nothing's perfect. What happened years ago? Is it against the law to speed? No. Is it illegal to speed? Absolutely. What is illegal is not lawful, ever. Illegal translates to against God's law. God, entity, creator, your consciousness if you believe in quantum physics. It's still a law. If you break laws, you have anarchy. What happens when you have anarchy? It's not about happiness or unhappiness. It's about the species dying off. Get over yourself. We all need to get over ourselves. If you have time to be happy in your life, you're not doing your job. You might get a little happiness here and there or get happiness from maybe learning how to be the sovereign that you are and how to adjudicate that and maybe bettering mankind instead of, you know, enjoying your Porsche. Nothing wrong with that. But if you're putting a, any value toward your life of owning and enjoying that Porsche, there might be something wrong with that. You see the dichotomy there? It's subtle. It's subtle. You're being fooled. You're being put in a trance by television and media and your phone. Do you use fluoride-filled toothpaste? I don't, because it calcifies your pineal gland. You know, the gland that possibly connects you to what's really going on. Is this real or is it a simulation? How can you tell? Well, you can't if your pineal gland is calcified and you're buying into a narrative from, an, from a presumed authority. Why would you ever want to give in to an authority? The, the authority doesn't, what you think is right and what you completely believe and think, more importantly think is right, doesn't matter. You're not in power of your own self. These people from the left, right, are just as bad in different ways but they want things to be limited for people. How short-sighted you are. Because when the other side comes in power, which is the same side, they're all, you know, cucks to the fucking oligarchs with billions or quadrillions of dollars. And they're in their own little level, which is higher than your level, so they're comfortable slaves. That's what it is. You know, to be free is not necessarily to be wealthy, to be living in luxury, maybe, but it doesn't necessarily mean that. You're putting too much value on the physical world and the physical attributes of that world. What matters is what happens inside your soul, your chakra, your whatever the fuck is, it is, whatever it is that we are. There's a supreme, maybe knowledge, maybe uh, awareness. There, we're a lot more than we've been told we are. However, when that part of your trichotomy if you don't know what I mean by trichotomy you need to watch my last video or the one before that when your consciousness awareness soul whatever label you want to put on it has been given the truth yet your physical automaton that is the kinetic kinetic form of this existence is 
in abject fear, you can't think clearly. Any any golfers out there? You know, ten thousand dollars on a four foot putt. How much harder is that putt than when it's you're by yourself? It's a form of coercion. Anyway, lost my train of thought. <laughs> uh, ten minutes. Well, hey, thanks a lot.